what's up guys it's Calvin here and today um, I'm here to show you my newest custom the Marvel Legends spawn figure um, as you can see it's based on a Marvel Legends body specifically the Malekith from the co-obsidian wave if, if I remember yeah, I, I believe it's the Call Obsidian Wave, and I like this body. I use this for my my Scorpion and Sub Zero I'm on custom, which you could find I'm on my channel. Maybe I'll put a link on the description. Um. Anyway, uh, the inspiration to doing this is actually again Mortal Kombat. I've been playing the MK11 recently and um, I thought Spawn was actually a really cool character and the McFarlane Spawn figure is really hard to find here in the Philippines so I have to make my own um, which is actually the same reason why I mostly made my MK Ninja Sub-Zero and Scorpion because it's not really available here in the Philippines. If they are, it's pretty um, uh, expensive. So I had to um, uh, make my own custom, like I said. Uh, the Actually, the, the whole figure here did not take too long to do, to, to finish. I started after I posted my video on my custom Batman McFarlane and I finished it um, about two days ago probably by the time that this video is uploaded so it only took probably like a week or two to make and it's really not that simple but not too hard as well the most that I had problems with is mounting the cape into the figure because I want to talk about the cape first before all the sculpting. The cape was actually a two-part cape. We have this main cape which is wired of course and we have the secondary cape here. It's more like uh, a bib from the back. It It's really cool um, uh, how it looks like that. I copied it obviously from the McFarlane itself. It does have like the cloak thing, the shorter cape on top of the larger cape in that figure. So I thought it was cool and I added this amount like arms if you could say so. Um as well as the collar here. So this thing and the collar are together and this thing is a separate cape. So I had to mount those on the body. Plus, originally I didn't plan on using the shoulder pads of Malekith here. But I find that it actually provides more bulk here, the upper part of the body. So I made it into a skull and added some worms. And I uh, made it silver. And this is the... Um, uh, like the chain necklace thing that comes with the shoulder pads I just painted that silver too basically the whole thing is silver because normally spawn would have like a little skull here as clasps for his cape and then a chain would run in the middle so essentially what I did is that I just made two big skulls as shoulder pad and gave him the chain so yeah, because sculpting like a small skull, even smaller than the the belt buckle, is really hard. As you can see, the belt buckle is not actually that great, but you know I did my best. I tried sculpting that; it was not good. I ended up just using it to form like an accent here on the leg armor. By the way, that the design here is just what. I wanted it's almost custom design 
for him. It's not a particular design from a particular comic or game. It's inspired from the Mortal Kombat. But I had some liberties taken. So, for example, he doesn't have the spike leg. He just has this, which is actually similar to what um, uh, you could customize in the Mortal Kombat. And also, he does have the red things here at the torso. Oops. Because I thought it's a nice break in the sea of black. I also did um, uh, give him a gloss coat because I wanted to, I wanted to make him more glossier than normal. All the spikes are actually um, uh, sculpted except for these longer ones. Those are just um, uh, pieces of plastic that I cut up and stuck here. So you have that. Same, same here. And I did give him a chain at the belt. I didn't want to give him lots of chains because it'll be super cumbersome with the fragile paint, the uh, big flowy cape, and all the all the spikes. So. As it is, it's really hard to maneuver this figure, so I didn't want to give him too much accessory and not be that poseable, I guess. Because it's it's really hard to pose this figure because you have all this, but what you can do is just, you know, pose the cape, make him stand still, you can give him lots of emotion using the cape only. Which is why I wired the cape in so many places. Basically six points. You got this thing, the smaller cape and the collar. The collar itself is actually really nice if you just took some time to pose them. Um, also these um, uh, um, uh, things here. I don't know what to call them. The pouches. Those are the same pouch pouches that comes with Malekith. He does have that, but he does he has two big ones. So what I did is that I cut those two in half and gave him four. I did some re-sculpting, added the silver dots. It's just silver dots, not sculpted. So made him look like that. And that's it. Um I didn't give him <laughs> any weapons because I'm not yet sure what I want for him as a weapon. So far, what I'm thinking is giving him this Epion Master Grade effect piece. But it looks super large for him. I don't know, but at the same time, it looks so good. I mean, imagine him holding it like that, probably. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna be experimenting into making some clear effect parts for him, mostly. I didn't want to give him physical weapons, I want to give him neon green effect piece. If I did that, I'll, I'll do an update, but as of yet, I have no weapons to give him. Because he already has the cape, I think for display purposes, the cape is sufficient. Um, also... Um, uh, for the articulation, everything is the same except for the right boot. This thing has to be sculpted, and in order for that to achieve the um, uh, spiked look, I had to sacrifice the boot rotation on this side of the leg. But on this side, you still have it. It's just the for in order for the spikes to be stable, I had to glue um, uh, basically freeze the leg rotation there. You still have the thigh swivel, it's really stiff though. But yeah, it's, like I said, it's really hard to post this guy, but I love him so much. He's like the fastest custom I ever made and I think he's the most decent one. Um, one of my friends said it's the best that I have done yet. I don't agree with that. I think Scorpion is the one that I like the most. Maybe it's like a subjective point, but I thought I had more details on him as I did with this guy. 
Anyway, that's about it for the spawn figure. It's not much, it's not a lot of work, but I love how it turned out. And I hope you do too. And that's about it. Um, for any comments that you have, you can just write comments. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I should probably do size comparison with my other custom. So here is my Sub-Zero, which he's gonna be displayed with because he's obviously from the Mortal Kombat design. So that's him with Sub-Zero and Scorpion. Yeah, I still think I did better job on this guy. Like, I had more effort put into this guy than this guy. But, yeah, you know, it's probably subjective since I love Scorpion as a character. Also, my previous custom, which is the McFarlane Batman figure. Uh, if I get him to stand, obviously he's bigger because McFarlane is a bigger scale. I also forgot to mention that I uh, made the battering from this guy. I actually re-sculpted that. Basically, I just cut areas there and I sliced it in half so he has to. It's not the best job, but still. Now he has to. Anyway, that's about it for spawn. I hope you enjoy this video. If you have comments, like I said, comment down below. I really appreciate you commenting on my videos. Any questions you, um, uh, you could ask them, just, you know, I hope it's about the figure, not personal stuff. You, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I'll see you on my next video, hopefully soon.